Hello, everyone. Welcome into Attacking Third, a CBS Sports Soccer podcast. I'm your host, Lisa Roman, broadcaster and analyst for CBS Sports. Sandra cannot be here today, but that's all right, because I have two incredible guests with me for today's episode. I am very excited about this. Before we get into it, though, I want to remind everyone that you can subscribe to Attacking Third on YouTube for all of our exclusive interviews and get alerts for when we go live, youtube.com slash attacking third. I said it, two special guests today, and we are so happy that they are here with us. The first one with Inter Milan, Norwegian national team defender Anya Sunstevold is here, as well as midfielder and captain of the Hungarian national team, and also with Inter Milan, Harietta Chistad. Anya, Harietta, welcome. How are you both? We are. Thank you. Happy nice to, be to meet you. you. <laughs> Well, welcome to the show and welcome to the United States. You have touched down in Texas. Anya, you've been to the United States before, but you're in Texas now. You mentioned it's a little hot. How's the humidity in Texas? Yeah, I I heard it was hot here, but when I walked out this morning about eight o'clock and felt the humidity, it was a bit of a shock, but um, we'll uh, give us a couple of days and we'll get over it. <laughs> Luckily, you do have a day or two. Your first match isn't until Wednesday, and we're speaking on Monday here. But Harrietta, your first time in the United States. Welcome. How is your experience so far? Thank you very much. Uh, yes, that's true. This is the first time that I'm here, so I'm super excited. So I just uh, can't wait to start the, the days and the games. A very long flight to get here, but you have made it. And this is also Inter Milan's first international tour. Currently, you're in Brownville, Texas, um, and, and you're preparing for a, a few matches. So coming to Texas, um, and you'll be in New York playing friendlies. This is early stages of preseason for Inter women. So you're just getting your feet a little wet with competition. Anya, for you, how important is it to play these friendlies during your preseason, um, especially in the United States? Yeah, it's, uh, it's very important. Uh, it's uh, about two weeks uh, until our season kicks off and we want to play against the good team so we can prepare well and being here in the United States where women's football is the something else it's uh it's real special actually it is very special and we're happy to have you um uh, for you Harrietta, you're playing uh wednesday you'll play a match august 12th against club deportivo guadalajara a, a mexican side but this competition is happening in the u.s what are you expecting during this match let's start with the environment you're playing in the united states is there anything you're expecting there yeah so that's, uh, it, that's the moment, in the moment, uh, it, it just feels crazy. So I just uh, can't believe that we are here with uh, Inter. So it's uh, such a big moment for us and also for the club, because this is the first time that uh, the club uh, is uh, doing uh, like an international tour. So I think it's going to be a very, very tough game, uh, especially because we are, uh, I think, uh, in the third week of uh, preparation. And we know that uh, our opponent is... Uh, already in the championship they had six games so it's going to be very uh, tough is there anything you are expecting to see from this mexican side um, in terms of tactics or how they might play or honestly even the physicality because they are towards the end of their season and you are just in the start of yours yeah i mean uh, they are mexican so i i guess they are technical players and as the henrietta said they are already in the season, so I guess they are in a good physical shape as well. And they have a real good uh, player in the captain, uh, top scorer, well-known player. So it's going to be a tough game, but uh, we are really looking forward to it. It's, it's a good test for us uh, ahead of our season. It is a very good test for, for them as well as for you as you prepare for this. Um, and, and Inter is still in the preseason and preparing for the preseason. So, uh, Harriet, I'm going to ask you, how is the overall preseason going? I know you're at the very beginning of it, but how has the first few weeks been or a few, few days and week? Yeah, uh, it's been tough to get back uh, to work. Of course, after holidays, it's always uh, a little bit uh, hard for us but that's uh, normal. And as I said, we are in the third week. So it's getting, uh, the intensity is getting higher and higher. 
Um, last week we had a game uh, against uh, Parma. Uh, we could won uh, the game, so that was a good start for us. Uh, and let's hope uh, for a better uh, continue. <laughs> Anya, knowing that you already played that game uh, against Pharma and congrats on the win, it's always good to start off the preseason like that. What are the top three things that Inter is is focusing on in how you want to play football this year as a team? Well, uh, that's a huge question. Um, I don't know. We were a pretty new team last uh, year with a new staff and uh, many new players. Um, and we ended on a fifth place. A little bit disappointed about that, so we want to do it better this season. So I guess we're going to focus on both offensive and defensively defensive stuff. Yeah, so it's, it's important to have these days uh, together uh, here in Texas. When you look at the offensive side of things, um, and especially for you, Harrieta, scoring goals and getting into the attack and and being part of that influence in with the ball and having possession. Is there any specific style that comes to mind when you think of how Inter plays? Yes, uh, we play a very co uh, combinative play. So our coach was uh, also a striker. So this is uh, our style, how she played, I think, also in the national team and uh, in Italy. So, yeah, we, we like to, to keep the ball, to have uh, the ball and um, combinate, uh, create chances. When you look at uh, the overall goals for the team and then kind of hone in on individual performances and individual goals that you have, I mean, Harriet, for you, this is your second season with Inter and, and Anya mentioned a bit of a building year last year. When, when you look at yourself stepping onto the field every day, what goals do you have for you this season? Yeah, I want to take more responsibility like last year. Last year was my first year, so I think uh, I, I couldn't show everything what I can uh, often on the pitch. So this is my next step, I think, uh, to take more responsibility, to help the, the, the younger ones. Um, yeah, and uh, also we want to arrive to the international level. So the, it's, it's going to be a huge uh, step. And also uh, uh, every team, they have uh, so many good players and, uh, and new players. So, yeah, it's going to be very tough, but I'm, I'm looking forward. Being that leader, taking that next step and, and leveling up, it sounds like the perfect year to do that. So we will be watching and continuing on that one. Anya, for you, I mean, you were with the team last year. So now your second season with Inter. Um, as someone who's a bit more defensive minded, maybe than Henrietta, are there any personal goals for you this season when you look at the year? Yeah, even though I'm a defender, I'm a fullback, uh, and I like to be uh, very offensive. So uh, as Enrietta, I want to take more resp responsibility on off the pitch, and I also want to have more um, points. Like I want to do assists, I want to score goals as well. So I really want to, um, yeah, be more offensive and um, make sure we win more games. I love that. I was a fullback and a defender as well when I played and it's hard to get those assists and get those points, but you can do it, especially when you set your mind to it. That's honestly the first step. So for Americans that are watching and listening to this interview and coming to your match on Wednesday and seeing you in New York, um, watching you in person, perhaps for the very first time, what is it they can expect to see from you, Anya, personally on the pitch? Uh, as I said, I want to. I will. I like to be offensive, so they can expect to, me to run uh, up and down the field, and uh, hopefully get an assist or two. And um, yeah, just play with joy and show the enthusiasm of Inter being here in uh, the U.S. Harrieta, what it for you? What's your go-to move on the pitch, or your preferred scenario uh, that fans can expect to see you in? Yeah. At first, uh, like Anya said, I just want to enjoy every moment what, what we spend here in uh, in the U.S. This is the, the most important for me. And of course, if you have uh, joy, you can play better and you can you can show your uh, skills. Uh, for me, um, I want to I want to play uh, creative, like the Italian style. So I want to help the team with my uh, key passes. Um, and yeah, it would be nice to score. <laughs> Well, it sounds like when you, you step on the field on Wednesday, you both just need to take a deep breath, 
look around, take in the environment because how special is this for sure? So the friendlies in America, and then you head back to Italy and just about two weeks before the season starts, it's around the corner. It, it's practically here. Um, how was the off season leading up to this? I know it's been a quick preseason, but when you look back to last year and then your time off, and now as you look to reset Harrietta for you, how, how was the last six months for you? Last uh, six months, ooh, we had a lot of games. And also for me with the national team, a lot of um, appearances. So it was very, uh, very tough. And now the off season was uh, was also a little bit weird because uh, you know we had a lot of players uh, from the Euros. They play they played at the Euros, so the complete team was not together uh, until now. So we are now getting together, and uh, we have to work also on, uh, on the team spirit. But I think we are on a good way, and uh, it's the game on Wednesday. It's gonna be a huge step for us, I think, as a team. It definitely will. And, and you mentioned all of the internationals and the Euros happening. Both of you are also internationals. Um, for you, Harrieta, you are with the Hungarian national team. And Anya, you are with Norway playing internationally. Knowing that um, you still have international competition ahead of you, especially for you, Anya, in just a few weeks, you're starting with Inter and you're also going to be continuing to fight for a World Cup spot. How do you balance both club and international play? Sometimes it can be difficult to, I mean, travel uh, back in home and uh, and sometimes it's a camp, a national team camp once a month. So it's hard to combine sometimes, but at the same time, the national team breaks make you have a little break from your everyday life and so it's also not, it's always nice to come back to Inter and come uh, maybe with some new energy and so it's also fun. I, I feel privileged to that I can do both. Yes, for sure. It's such an honor to to do both. How do your roles differ from club to country? Is there a mindset switch? Um, whether it's different tactically or formationally, Anya, I'll start with you. Is there a big difference playing for a club and country in your specific role? Uh, yes, uh, in Italy, it, there's more technical players uh, that challenge me, like uh, one v one um, challenges. And but in uh, home in Norway, it's more uh, tactical. I feel uh, more team, not team spirit, but it's uh, more tactical than technical, mm -hmm. like it is in Italy. Yeah, that's a tough switch to kind of go back and forth with. Harrietta, for you, when you go between club and country, is there anything that the biggest thing that is the difference? Yeah, you're nodding your head a lot here. <laughs> um, actually, it's a big difference between the Italian style and the, not the Hungarian style, but we have a um, woman uh, German coach. So uh, her style is a little bit tough. <laughs> So we have to be always uh, focused and concentrated uh, and uh, to be precise like the Germans. So it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, different and also how we play. Um, yeah, a little bit more uh, tactic than technique. But uh, the, the good thing is that we can, we can uh, mix a little bit the technique yeah. and also the tactic. Yes. So when you mix a little bit, and now as you even play against Mexican competition, do you think you'll add a little bit of the Mexican flair into your type of style? Or how, how are you mixing these? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question, though. Um, it's like uh, in the defense, you have to be always um, focused and uh, you, you have to be concentrated. But like uh, in the open, offense, you can be creative, you can, you can play. Yeah, uh, almost whatever you want and how, how you want. So yeah, just to be creative. Yeah, very creative. I'm excited to watch it. So preseason is here. We've got friendlies coming up for Inter Women, and then the season starts. And, and with the start of a new season, there can be new routines, but you can also stick to some of your old ones. So Anya, I'll, I'll start with you. Before you play these first friendlies in the United States and you get set for the season with Inter, um, what is your game day routine? When you show up to the training facility, when you're in the locker room, are you eating a certain food or listening to a specific type of music? What do you, what do, you do on game day? 
Uh, I feel uh, that I don't have any special routines, but every time we start uh, talking about it, I have some routines. <laughs> um, so I don't know, waking up, having a good breakfast. We always have like an um, activation session with our physical trainer. And then we have meeting and a match uh, meal, and then we're just heading to the stadium. So Harrietta, for you, do you do anything specific? You put your left boot on first before your right or anything like that? Well, yeah, there are some things, but I won't tell you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for me, it's the, the most important thing is the breakfast before the game and also the activation to to get in the, in the shape and everything. Um, yeah, food is quite important and to be, be quiet, be calm and focused. So what's the food? What What's your go-to meal, your favorite meal to eat on game day? Oat milk, <laughs> I would say, yeah. Banana, pancakes. Ooh, yeah. Yum. yeah. Anya, what about for you? I mean, we live in Italy, so guess what we eat for <laughs> a meal? It's always pasta. <laughs> but I like, I like it. Even though we have a game early, I have, I have pasta for breakfast, so... At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. And I scored the ball. So I think that's the perfect pregame meal. I I agree completely. Pasta (laughs) at 10 a.m. for breakfast is what do you put on your pasta? Have you learned any new tricks and trades since being in Italy? No, it's pasta and tomato sauce and parmesan, of course. But here they don't mix um, the dishes, but I also always put chicken with the yeah. pasta and then of course the italians look very weird yeah <laughs> but you say you mix but i scored so maybe they yeah. start to do the same yeah everybody should start <laughs> everybody should start doing it you've scored mix your chicken with your pasta and your tomato sauce that <laughs> sounds delicious i might need to go and grab me some pasta right now before the game Harrietta, anya thank you both so much for joining us and for being here good luck with your friendlies in the united states um you can watch them in texas and then they'll head to new york and good luck with the the 2022 2023 season with inter milan uh, we also want to thank all of our listeners so much for joining us You can follow us on Twitter at Attacking Third for more. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and anywhere that you listen to your podcasts. We're also available as video. You can subscribe to us on youtube.com slash Attacking Third. We'll be back with more this week. For Lisa Roman, Anya, and Harrietta, this was Attacking Third.